Alright guys, welcome back to Rusky World Shit. It's intercooler time, so let's make one. That's a good one! Yeah. So this is the intercooler I had before. It's already an upgraded version because... Well, upgraded because the original turbo kit was uh, engine dynamics. And the smaller cooler that it can come comes with, I think it's 180 mil. So I've upgraded to the big one because I knew that I was going to go for a bigger turbo. Um, with this intercooler, my car produced 430 horse and stuff like that. And actually the air temperatures were really good. But you can always improve. This score is 65 mil by 230 by 550. It's uh, eBay finest. Uh, served well. Um, but I think we can do better. Pro Alloy, I'm sure you've heard of them. They're wonderful. They do a lot of stuff and fabrication. Link to their website and uh, stuff they can do for you. Uh, I'll leave it in the description. But I reached out to them and they made me this beauty. It's a custom core designed to my specification. It's basically 750 mil. Yes, 180 or 190, 180 or 190, I forgot. Yeah, I designed it and I don't remember. It's 180. 190, yes. And it's 90 mil. Also, the old one uh, is bar and plate. I mean, uh, there are certain differences, benefits and whatnot. Essentially, what I need to know is that, well, what you need to know is that bar and fin are generally lighter than bar and plate for the same size core. They're not as effective efficient uh, but they're lighter and because you can get a bigger one they can be more so this thing which is pretty much double what I had before is only 400 grams heavier than the old one yes I know it still need N tanks so we'll probably end up around a kilo heavier but this thing is double the capacity and the best thing before you know how on my Actually, you know what? Let's put it on and let's uh, show you. We're not going to be running the same uh, splitter supports. If you want to know what splitter supports I'm going to be running on my car now, don't forget to subscribe. Also, hit that like button. It really does help my channel. I mean, I'm almost at 4,000 subscribers. Chances are when you're watching this, I'll probably be over, but As you can see, that's how the original seated, like this. So there was a lot of space on each side that you don't want. And you, I had to actually on my old bumper put um, blanking plates so the airflow doesn't just sort of wander and it actually blows in here. But on this one, because we have a new bumper, I decided why make the blanking plates if we can just make it fit the bumper so yeah that's basically the idea so we actually don't need to do anything here there will be end plates on the, the cooler and I think we still have space for it to go a bit more back um, what I don't like is how it's actually touching here ever so slightly, but this can be trimmed a little bit, I guess. Just a bit. What I did, what I didn't realize is that ah, uh, my boost pipe used to go from here. Now we have a bloody air duct. So now we have to rethink how to root it. Um, Interesting, interesting, interesting. I am not sure what to do here. Theoretically, yes, theoretically we can just go under. So it will go under here and same sort of distance. So instead of going here, it will go under here. So we'll need to re-weld that pipe completely. But yeah, it's a good distance. And yes, that's basically what I wanted. So it's super nice and clean. So all the airflow goes either to the intercooler or 
into the air ducts. And that's it. We're not going to have any of those stupid cutouts and this is not going to be touched. Um, so we just sort of nice and clean and then obviously a nice big air dam and a massive splitter. I think I want it about here. And then of course canards. But to see all that you need to subscribe because there will be a separate video on canards and the splitter. <sighs> Alright, let's get to measuring. Let's get the aluminium out. And uh, yeah, let's fabricate an intercooler. Been saying it for quite a while now. What would I do without a lathe? Well, I know what I would do. That's what I used to do before. You go on eBay and you look for parts that you need or you... <sighs> Takes time. With a lathe, boom, I needed those things. M8 thread, sort of machine them to size. I mean, obviously it's not anything special. It's just a nice little riser. Anyways, so we have two tabs. Um, so it will be supported as is, they're 15 mil long, so we have gaps everywhere. I double checked, I mean, it's close, but we have a decent gap in between. A decent gap in between, so that's all good. I am also thinking that I might need somewhere here another support just so it rests. I might actually use this bracket. And uh, from there we can actually make a little extension so it's supported underneath as well um, because this cooler is bigger even though it's gonna be the same weight but why not small bracket the complication starts here the pipe that needs to go to here like that. Um, I'm thinking, I'm thinking like this, we can chop this little bit, so like that, and then sort of like that, and then this will, and then the pipe from there, so. little cardboard template first why is it sagging now but effectively this is how it's gonna look so it's nice and smooth pretty much looks like a, a bot intercooler isn't it you can probably see it better here like that when it's on the bench and not inside the, the car so yeah that's the kind of shape you see so it's a bit tilted to the side and we're gonna have the pipe the boost pipe coming on from here so now we just need to attach this plate like this and then we will be ready to weld this as a complete end plate onto the intercooler two hours later i don't know about you but i think i'm getting better at aluminium welding i'm actually really happy about that and actually this was really enjoyable a lot of the time is a bit like oh my god it's not working out what's going on but this thing boom yeah look some of those welds are actually really really nice anyway so this is my left hand side end tank for my intercooler done so this thing goes sort of in there connects with a straight coupler a little reinforcement there which i'm holding with just so it doesn't bend um yeah it's ready to be welded onto the core and then we can move on to the other side
issue I found is that when you bend a radius, even if the two sides are parallel at the beginning, once you bend it, it stops being parallel, if that makes sense. So, whereas before, if it was right angles, I could put a plate and it would be just cover everything. Once you bend it, as soon as you put it down, it has two sort of as you can see by that and I'm sure there is a formula of sorts I don't know how to calculate all those radiuses so it's all but the best formula I found is yep make it tack it trim to fit it Bit of trimming and we are good it's not a bad fit up obviously weld around and here we have another end tank um, the reason why it's such a weird shape is because I need this to be as low as possible so this will weld not this but another pipe out it will weld onto here at the bottom and it should be good enough. I'm not usually the one to uh, blow my own horn, but I like it. I mean, look at this one. That is my absolute best. It does look good. Yeah. I'm getting better. And it's more enjoyable so once you get the settings right but i think it's practice anyways the end tank perfect look at the freaking size of that thing um okay so we need to weld this but also we need to weld the outlet i think i'm gonna use one of them that's basically a quick release coupler that is supposed to be um, flexible as well on the inside um, but it's two and a half inch the original boost piping that I have um, is 225 which is 56 mil or something like that um, I am thinking on the other side on the turbo side it will be this the old one the 225 the reason being is that the turbo the outlet on the turbo is actually even smaller so i have to use a reducer anyways so that side we can actually keep the 225 it's only a short essentially just a straight line on this side because we have two bends and because we have the couplers that are slightly bigger i think we can upgrade to two and a half essentially it's only it's 290s and um a 30 degree so I'll just buy those, cut the um, the Westgate flange off, and we'll make it from scratch again. But this is not part of the intercooler. So let's weld the the couple on there, and then we can weld it on the intercooler, and I can show you how sick it looks. This thing is humongous.
Ta da! It's done. Yeah. <laughs> ah, massive, like I said. Um, there's not much to say about it. So we have this side outlet. Maybe quick release goes on there. Small reinforcement, similar shape to this side. Let's put it on the car. <laughs> 